Okay, is this popular new weight loss drug, Ozempic, uh, the trade name for uh, semaglutide, going to cause more problems than it solves? Uh, and the answer is, for some people, perhaps that is the case. And so I will point you to uh, one quote unquote TikTok star, uh, Remy Bader, who came to attention because she was banned from riding horses for being too heavy. Uh, that, of course, upset her. And, and I don't know how, uh, you know, perhaps the horse was somewhat relieved. Um, but anyway, so she has been notoriously overweight. She's a quote unquote, a model. And she recently was prescribed Ozempic uh, for apparently prediabetes uh, and obesity and was put on that at the advice of her physician. And she ended up coming off the drug. I don't know why, perhaps she couldn't tolerate the side effects. Maybe it was a cost issue, maybe it was an availability issue. But what she mentioned was that while the drug did suppress her appetite, which is what you know, supposedly the drug will do, by actions uh, through the um, hormone GLP-1. Uh, this is a GLP-1 agonist, which is an incretin hormone. And one of the concerns that, that others have brought up and I've mentioned before was that it basically decouples fat cells metabolically, they become more insulin sensitive, but they, they increase in what's known as hyperplasia. So many, 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 many small fat cells are now created. And so when the thought is when you come off the drug, you will develop sort of rebound uh, hunger, these cells will become very hungry, driving appetite and causing you to gain weight. And apparently that's exactly what happened to this particular person. She came off the medication, she became insatiably hungry, her binge eating disorder became even worse and she gained even more weight back. And so I think we'll see uh, a number of these uh, stories like this. Uh, you know, the problem is that the vast, vast, vast majority of people that are prescribed this drug will be given it and there will be no significant lifestyle modification or attempts to do so other than lip service. There will be no concrete change in a life. It'll be, it'll be perceived as a quick fix and it may make people even worse in the long run. And that will happen for the majority probably of the people. They certainly won't get the appropriate uh, lifestyle interventions or make the necessary lifestyle changes. Most people will continue uh, eating their, their garbage dietary pattern you know, and they will just go right back to this. So anyway, so this is a case in point. Um, how many more, many, many more like these are out there. I know I see people commenting on one, uh, a number of side effects that, that make the drug hard to tolerate and two very similar stories where they, they go off it and they immediately regain the weight. So again, the, the, the pharmacy answer is of course, well, you just need to stay on the drug for the rest of your life and at a cost of, you know, thousands of dollars many, many thousands of dollars a year. It's a great business model for pharmacy and it, it you know, continues to keep the windfall, cash windfall for the processed food, junk food companies and the doctors can kind of virtue signal a little bit about how they're helping people, right? They're helping people with obesity, you know, and some of them do, some of them do. They do it the right way, but most of them will not. Most of them will, here's your prescription and, and nothing more. Okay guys, we'll talk to you soon, bye-bye.